I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this exercise Charleston Sprints because we're going to force quick decision making during the Charleston. The primary reason why I like to do this exercise is to practice for playing in a tournament when you have to play with a timer. You have to play four games in 55 minutes. So if you train yourself to make really quick decisions when you're sitting in that chair at a tournament, you'll be calm and collected. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. That's to prepare for playing in a tournament. If you just want to improve your decision-making speed, try four minutes if you're a beginner or three minutes if you're intermediate and then push yourself to get to that two minute mark. I'm gonna roll these dice each time to determine which seat we're in. For the first one, we're gonna be player four. I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have some wins, dragon, four, six, four, eight, three, seven, eight, pair fours. I would start there. Maybe east and west with fours, maybe like numbers, maybe two, four, six, eight. Let's give up the south. Focus on fours. We got a dragon and nines. Let's give up two, four, six, eight and focus on fours. We got threes, maybe we could do consecutive run, maybe even a pair hand. Let's pass these three. We got a flower. We have tiles we can pass. Still don't need to pick a hand. We got a three and a four. We have tiles we can pass there. Three, four, three, four. If we had the right dragon, that would be nice. Let's see, three, we really don't need that three. Let's pass that. There's another flower and a five. Three, four, five with fours. Three, four, three, four. We're going across. I would pass one blind. Dragon, we already gave that up. Let's see, I think I would pass two for optional. lap. So here we have either three, four, five with fours in the middle, consecutive run concealed, or three, four pair hand, which I think is better. I would just hold this for plan B. Pair, three, four, three, four, dragon. If we can get a red dragon, this hand will have no gaps. Three, four pair hand. Second one from the bottom under singles and pairs. Building around the fours. This one. This one came in. Threes came in. Flowers came in. This is one reason why you don't want to pass flowers. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. This time we're going to be west since I rolled a seven.
no jokers, no flowers. We do have multiples though, two, one, one multiple, two. I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight. We have all those tiles represented. So let's pass these three. Oh, there's a two. I'm here. Uh-oh, Siri jumped in. Okay, <laughs> two, four, six, eight. Let's give up, let's focus on two suits and pass one of each suit. These. Oh, I don't know about that. Pair of red dragons, two, four, six, eight with reds. Let's pass these three. Oh, that's risky. Oh my goodness, look at that. Pair of sevens. Okay, we're gonna break this up. Let's see, two, four, eight, two, eight, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Oh my gosh, let's see. Okay, let's give up the four. Ah, uh, let's give, let's focus on the red and give up two, four, six, eight in mixed suits. Red. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. Whoa, eights. Keep, we'll keep them. Let's pass these three. Five, we don't need these, optional. Lap. Okay, ones. Whoa, that one really kind of threw me for a loop. I would play two, four, six, eight with dragons. Second from the bottom under evens. We need sixes and we can use jokers there. Pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. So we're light on this side. We did get a pair of eights. If we get eight dots and the six, maybe we could even play the two, four, six, eight concealed hand two four six eight in one suit eights in the two other suits i would start by discarding here and gather evens and see what happens that one was really challenging the like numbers and the dragons that came in wow the challenge is to make quick decisions while building your hand and not passing risky t passes because you don't want to better your opponent's hand. You want to build yours while passing defensively. And those dragons really made that quite a challenge. And the like numbers and pairs even. That one was very challenging. Especially pushing for speed. Oh my goodness. And then Siri jumped in the mix. Couldn't have planned that one out. I rolled a five. We're going to be player one. So this time we'll get 14 tiles. We have jokers, but no multiples. I do see consecutive run, five through eight. Let's focus there. Five through eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's just keep the wind. Maybe we'll get winds and flowers. One reason why you don't want to pass flowers. Let's see, let's pass one of each suit here. We've got winds. We'll keep them. Here's a pair of nines. Maybe we could play a quint. Let's focus on those multiples or wins. Give up on the run. Let's see, eight, six, eh. One of each suit right here. Whoops. Okay, seven, nine. 
Maybe we could do seven, eight, nine, two, three, six. Let's do that. Flower. Pass those. Whoa, eights. Five, seven, nine. Wins. Let's break these up and focus on the Wests. Two, seven, nine, white. I don't think that's going to be helpful. We'll pass those. Flower. East, West, four. Five, seven, nine, or a quint. I would pass one short. Looking for two. Lap. Okay, three discards. I don't like passing the white dragon. So I would say we could play five, seven, nine in one suit, third hand down, or a quint. I think I would play the quint and hold this for a backup plan. We could quint one of these. That looks promising. Either that or 579, depending on how it goes. Let's see how things went with the time. I got a little flustered with that second sprint. The dragons and the multiples that came in threw me for a loop. This is one reason why I like to practice. And I think sometimes if you are sitting there with players who are more experienced than you or you're playing in a tournament, your nerves can kind of get to you. So this exercise can help desensitize you from that angst. Let's see how things went with time. Sprint one, one minute, 53 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, four seconds. Sprint three, two minutes, three seconds. So as an average, I was right on two minutes. Two of those were over my goal of under two minutes. So I need to practice. I'd like to practice making decisions in under two minutes for each sprint as opposed to an average. Whatever works for you though, just push yourself. If you are a beginner, try making decisions in under four minutes. If you are intermediate, Push yourself to make decisions in under three minutes. And if you are advanced, push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes. If you are a beginner or intermediate player and you get to that two minute mark, you could play with any experienced players or even play in a tournament and you'll have plenty of time because you've practiced making quick decisions. And hopefully you won't get anxious feeling pressured to make those quick decisions, whatever the circumstance. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.